Hi, this is Daniel Shanahan from New Leaf Data, and in this episode of FileMaker Inventory Resources, we're going to take a look at how to receive against a purchase order. Receiving against a purchase order seems pretty straightforward, and in fact it is if when you receive the goods, you receive everything that was ordered. Then it's not a problem. But what happens if when you receive your goods, you don't receive everything? There's only two options. You're going to receive everything or you're not. It could be that you received all the line items, but not all the quantity of those line items. It could be that you don't receive all the line items. Then it comes down to a question of back orders. Do you accept back orders? Now there could be any number of reasons why you wouldn't accept a back order. It could be that the particular customer doesn't want to wait for a back order. They might go to another place and look for that item. It could be that you don't, as a company, you don't handle back orders because you don't want the overhead of tracking the back orders. It could be that the vendor or the, the manufacturer, whoever supplies this, could be that they don't offer back orders. Maybe they just make this item once a year and you just have to reorder it if you want it. So you'll have to make a decision on, in this order, do you receive back orders? And that's going to change, that's going to affect how the data comes in to the database. Another thing that's important uh, is to have a status for the for the purchase order but also the purchase order line it could it can be helpful to have a status for the purchase order line and we'll open up a, a filemaker database and take a look at a demo okay here we are now in a demo so let's take a look at what we're talking about here we have an order a purchase order and on the purchase order header there's a status field also notice that on the purchase order lines there are status fields. Those will get updated automatically. We also have on the header this ability to allow or not allow back orders. Let me create a record here so I can toggle that. Now on the back order, remember that the, the back order is going to depend on your particular situation. If you have if your customers, you have some customers who want back orders and others who don't, then this this field could be also on the customer record. It could be here on the order, and uh, and if you have it so that um, so that there's an, there are items that never get back ordered, those would be on the item record. If you get if you get items. If you get the same item from multiple vendors, then you you would also have this ability to back order or not back order on the on a join record that would have the the vendor and the item, so there would be a join uh, a join table in between there. So we have this toggle here for the back order here, but just keep in mind that that where you place this or Keep in mind two things, that where it goes is going to depend on your situation and there could be multiple tick boxes, multiple fields and different tables for this. It's all going to depend on your situation. Okay, well that was a lot. Let's, let's go through this now. So here's the, here's the order. We're going to leave the back order blank so we're not taking back orders. And I'll create a PO okay so now I have this PO this, this, the status for the PO is set to new and the status is empty for the line I'm going to send that off to the vendor you can see it changes now so it's off to the vendor now it's pending and our status on the order header is sent let's go over to the receipt and I'll create a new receipt and let's receive that purchase order. Now on this particular one, let's say we did receive 
100 of those. We did not receive any of those 90, and we only received 35 of the purple widgets. We're going to post that. Remember, we're not receiving back orders, so whatever we get is what we get. And, and our status shows that. So we have, so everything's completed, and there isn't any, nothing is pending. And here's what we have received. So we didn't receive everything we ordered, but because it's not, a, not back ordered, this order is complete. Let's take a look at another one. We're going to allow back orders on this one. And same thing, let's go over to the to the receipt. Create a new receipt, receive this one. Let's say we get 30 of these, we get 50 of these, maybe 10 of these. Post that, and now we have a partial reception of this purchase order because we received back orders. So we expect another shipment to come and for the rest of these goods. And so that's what this is telling us, and we know this line by line. And we can go over, now we could see over here on the receipts, we didn't do this on the last order, but on the receipts we could see that this is a receipt record where those, where that, uh, this first batch came from. And uh, I didn't want to do that. Let me go over to um, receipts, and I'm going to create a new record for receipts. And now on this one, I'm, I'm only showing those that are due. Oops. And just go through the same process again. This time, now we've completed two of them, but we're still short. We're still short 10 of the purple widgets. And I'll finish that up here. Your new one, you see there's our purple widgets. We'll do 10, post that. And now everything is completed, and we can see on the receipts, here are, the, here are all the receipts that it took to complete that order. Of course, you could put some, uh, you could put a button in here and toggle over to those receipts. That would be a nice feature, too. That's one way to receive a purchase order in multiple shipments. For a fuller discussion on this, go to FileMakerInventoryResources.com and take a look at this article. the purchasing process. And here you'll see a fuller discussion including some diagrams, uh, data models, and the status that I use for the demos. The file that you saw will be available here and you can download that. And then while you're here make sure to sign up for the email list and then you'll be updated whenever a new article or demo file is loaded up to the website filemakerinventoryresources.com. Thanks, that's it for today. If you like this video, make sure to subscribe. More videos are on the way. And again, make sure to visit filemakerinventoryresources.com. Thanks again.